first thing is you use the word kafir. Often the, ca the word kafir is translated to English to be infidel. That usually they translate a lot of other words to be infidel as well. But actually infidel is not a word from Arabic. It comes from Latin and it was originally ascribed from the Pope. The Catholic Church's Pope called the Muslims in Jerusalem infidels and used that as the opportunity to send out the forces of the crusaders to go and kill all of the Muslims and they did and they said the blood was so much it was up to the knees of the horses in the streets and killing and killing and they killed everybody who wasn't Catholic they killed Christians who were Protestants they killed Jews they killed Muslims they killed anybody who got in their way it was horrible over this one word it's not the word the word kafir the word kafir is a simple word. It has to do with agriculture. When a person digs the ground, removes the soil, and puts the seeds in the soil and covers it up with the dirt, he is doing the verb kafara, and that is to cover up the seeds, and therefore he's a kafir. So in Arabic, a kafir is a farmer. But if you went to Saudi Arabia today and you saw a farmer out there working, you know, and you said, hey, Kafir, what's up? He's probably going to kill you <laughs> because of the connotation that we understand it today. Today, we understand it to be one who disbelieves. We call them disbelievers in English, but that's not really what it's about. If you understand the verb, you can understand the picture, though. You see, the seeds are there. Whether you cover them up or not, they're still there. And the truth is there. Whether you cover it up or not, it's still there. And one day the truth will come. It will come to light. And when it does, it will destroy all the falsehood. Why? Because it was always there all along. And the falsehood is nothing anyway. So this is the meaning of a kafir. One who knows the truth, but he covers it up. So we don't call everybody kafir. Only one who knows and covers it up. Because he's covering He's a liar. And as far as your word jihad, jihad is any kind of a struggle that you do on any level. It can be juhad. When you have accomplished building a great campus, a university, a hospital, an airport, this is juhad, to do something really big. When scholars come together to try to find an answer to a question and they study and they work on that question and they get the answer, they say we made it jihad to get the answer, using the same word again. The word jihad is not really used in the Quran in conjunction with these verses talking about battle. The word is kital, katala. This is the word that's used and it means to combat and fight. That's what it means. Like we send people in combat, that's exactly what the word Kital is talking about. Waktuluhum, Allah says. And he's saying to kill in combat those who are killing you in combat, but if they stop, you have to stop. Otherwise, you're the transgressor. And Allah verily does not love the wrongdoers. So understand that before you can go anywhere with your conversation, you need to go to the Arabiya, understand the Arabic language, sit with the scholars of knowledge and think and reflect and then pray and ask Allah to guide you and say, Rabbi Zidni Ilma, Rabbi Zidni Ilma. And this is the dua that you make when you want to learn, Oh Allah, increase my knowledge. Sound good? <laughs> فَوَيْلٌ لِلْقَاسِيَةِ قُلُوبُهُمْ مِنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ